Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a build and price on a 2023 Ford Bronco Badlands. So let's go ahead and head over to the Ford website there. By the way, it's very easy to use this. Um, if you head over uh, to Ford.com, you can click on Bronco, explore more Bronco, and then build and price pops up. Now, if you look at the 23 Bronco, when you can order, if you're not a current reservation holder, order holder, you're, you're going to have to wait just a little bit. But whenever you can place that order, if you want to know how the price now and a few of the options are going to compare to, say, the launch 2020 when they launched it, and then January 21 when you could actually turn that reservation that you would have made during uh, the launch into an order. So right now we're going to look at this. So we have a base, a big bin, a black diamond. So that's, you know, typical. We've had that since the beginning. We have outer banks. All right, no problem. And then we get to the heritage, the first new trim for this year. See the heritage. The heritage is, uh, the heritage edition is based on a uh, big bend. And it has some really cool features, white dash, white top, uh, different sort of that digital plaid looking interior, uh, white wheels, um, pretty sharp looking vehicle, by the way, in the, in the white grill, by the way. All right. You have the Badlands. That's one we're going to be working on today, but we have the Wild Track, the Everglades, the Heritage Limited Edition. Now, the, the Everglades, I don't know how long it'll be around, so 23 could be the last year. Or maybe they keep building it. Who knows? We don't know yet. The Heritage Limited um, Edition, it's kind of in the name. It's limited. Now, I've been told by someone that should know that uh, Ford's going to build 1,966 two-doors and 1,966 four-doors. Now, I can't confirm that. That's what I was told by someone around the project. So let's hope that's the uh, the case. If it's the case, obviously, you have a lot better chance of getting it but still low production numbers. That's not a lot of vehicles. It will go pretty quick. Let's move forward. Uh, the Raptor. So out of 10 trims for 23, you could say you might have a good chance at getting eight of them because the Heritage Limited is going to be very hard to get. You have to contact your dealer. Think, same thing with the Raptor. Allocations. Um, you had a reservation. You had an order. You hadn't had a build date yet, and they would have offered you that, and you would have taken it. Uh, then you're in there. However, going forward, the Raptor is going to be what it is at dealers. It's going to be an allocation, and um, I don't know how they're going to do it. They can only build so many a year. There's a lot of people that want them. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So anyway, let's go back right now to the um, to the Badlands. Now, we're going to select a uh, four-door. What we're trying to do here is I'm trying to mirror the builds that we currently have. We have a 21 Badlands and a 22 Badlands. Now, if we want to build the theoretical perfect Badlands, we're going to call it um, modular bumper, MIC top, and Sasquatch and a few other things in there. So, so let's get started here on it. And I will try to keep this video quick. So you can play around with this, uh, go to the Ford.com Bronco build and price. Um, I'm just going to try to zip through it. Otherwise we'll be here for two hours and you don't want to watch a video for that long. All right. So when you, you click on it, it starts off showing cactus gray. I mean, that's, that's the first color, but right here, let's look at some of the colors. Shadow black. We have Oxford white, very popular color, by the way, looks really good on a Bronco. I probably would have picked that, but we had too many white vehicles. So uh, here we have Cactus Gray. Iconic Silver, very sharp color. Definitely is appealing. Uh, who knows, maybe one day change something there. We have Carbonized Gray Metallic. Very, very, very clean color. I like it. Now, here's a popular one, Race Red. Race Red is uh, looks really good, especially on the Heritage with the white top and white wheels and the white dash. It really... It really pops, uh, but in any color combination, you know, with the whether it be a white top, a black gloss paint, painted top, which you can't get right now, um, or the MIC, they all look good. But that white and red really looks sharp. Now we have one that I have, uh, Eruption Green. Um, Eruption Green is on our 22 Badlands, and we have an MIC top on that. And then we have, we head over here to the Hot Pepper Red Metallic Tinted clear coat. That's a big name there. Now you'll see there's a $495 upcharge on that one. 
It's the first one we've gotten to that has an upcharge. Area 51, very popular color. Glad they kept it around. Uh, we have Velocity Blue Metallic. Velocity Blue Metallic. Um, there again, very sharp color. You, you know, none of the, the Broncos displayed here looks, you know, accurate uh, as far as the colors are concerned uh, on the website. You see one in real life. You, you either like a color a little more or maybe you don't like it as much, but people tend to have a, other than the white or the black, uh, it was pretty simple there. Uh, they tend to have a different impression of these colors when they see them. Now, here's one that I don't understand, azure gray. Um, I guess if I see it in the sunlight and it's cleaned up, um, it, it might be more appealing to me. It just looks really close to Area 51 now, and there is a $995 upcharge. So the um, you can see over here on, let's see, the hot pepper was $495, and azure gray is $995. All right, so let's go ahead and pick, just for the heck of it, let's pick Eruption Green, all right? So that's what we're going to do. Now, powertrain. Uh, both engines are good. If you want a manual transmission, you are going to have to still stick with the 2.3 to get the manual. However, if the transmission is not that important and you're going for maximum horsepower, maximum torque, and you you, you like the feel of the bigger engine, then the 2.7 is going to be your, your option. It's an $1,895 upcharge. Now, that's going to come with a caveat, and you'll see that in just a second. We're going to select the 2.7 because, well, that's what we have on our, what we're calling the perfect build. Now, you'll see you get this little pop-up screen here, and it says by adding the 2.7 EcoBoost V6 engine that it will require you to go to the 10-speed automatic, uh, the 10R60 transmission, and that is a net change of $3,490. So we're going to go ahead and add that. We're going to say, yes, we want it. All right. Um, four by four with full-time drive is included. So you'll see the 10 speed automatic transmission here is included uh, because we just added that. Now, if you look on uh, the rear axle ratio, which part of this changes uh, with what engine, what transmission or trim. In this particular case, we have the 4.46 uh, axle with the rear locking diff. Now, part of that's because you're into the Badlands. Now, let's do um, the equipment group. Standard package, mid package, high package, lux package. Well, um, I'm going to do another video on whether you need lux or not. And there's a few things that um, if you fall into a certain category, maybe you need high package or even mid. Uh, other categories, you do need lux. We'll talk about that in another video. But for the sake of, of just doing it, we are going to pick the lux package because, well, that's what we have. Now, Sasquatch. A big change for 2023 is the price on the Sasquatch package because if you'll see right here, it is a forty. It's a four thousand ninety dollar. I was going to say forty ninety. It's a four thousand ninety dollar upcharge for the Sasquatch package. Now that'll get you the different wheels, thirty five inch tires, different suspension, um, and a variety of other things. And let's add that. Now the change when I mentioned the price, to the best of my knowledge, it was. I want to say $2,400, $2,600. I'm going to go back and check. Maybe I'll put it in the notes below what it costs to up uh, to scale up to that Sasquatch package say in two, uh, 21 and 22. So, or on a 21 and a 22 build. I do know that is about, give or take, $2,000 higher. Uh, towing capability, we want to add that. That is a commodity uh, constraint. I think more on the wiring harness than the hitch itself. Um, but we want to add it to, like I say, we're trying to build that perfect Bronco Badlands and we're comparing it to the ones we have. So we have to keep going there. Now, because we picked Lux, we have the uh, Ford Copilot 360 included. Now, in the wheels, you'll see the Sasquatch wheels are selected. So we're going to leave that alone. We could play around with the other ones. Doesn't make any sense because this is the wheel for Sasquatch. Uh, the tire for Sasquatch will be the Goodyear territory. Um, some people call them the rock slingers. Uh, we haven't had a terrible time with rocks, even though we've had a few dings from the rocks on the road. Uh, but I can tell you in the snow and the sand, it's a really good tire. I don't have anything to compare it to because I haven't, you know, we don't have any other type of tire on the Bronco. But 
uh, the Goodyear territory has done us well. They have a little bit of that road noise. So we're not going to dive too deep into the tops right now, but I'm just going to read through them really quick. Uh, really quick. We have the uh, retract, uh, retractable full twill top. That's sort of that um, best top type deal. We have the top mesh shade. We have the soft canvas bimini. We have the retractable front row twill soft top. Uh, there again, we have so much to go through. We're going to do the tops in a separate video. Um, and that's something that we definitely want to cover. But right now we're going to go with the MIC hardtop because um, perfect Bronco, I say perfect. Don't get mad at me for saying that. I'm just saying in in our world, we're building the Bronco that we would want to buy again if we were buying it. It's perfect for us, I should say. Uh, maybe not for you or, or anyone else. I mean, you, you know, soft tops are great. I have a soft top on my 21 Bronco. I absolutely love that top because it's so convenient. Uh, the hard top adds some features that I just can't get. It's a little quieter maybe helps with the climate control slightly, but the biggest thing is I can put roof racks on it, even though I can't get them from Ford, which I just spoiled something in the video here, but you can do roof, uh, roof camping and carry canoe on top or other luggage for overlanding. All right. So we've picked the MIC top, uh, the powder coated steel bumper included. Now we're going to select the modular, there again, so similar to my 21. So you'll see that's a $575 upcharge. Um, the exterior options, uh, the full vehicle steel bash plates. Now that's included because we, we have a Badlands, but mainly the inclusion of all the bash plates is because we went Sasquatch baggage. Um, so that is in there. And you can go with the bar, uh, the body armor, which are the black corners, you know, to go in a corner of the vehicle. You can do the tube doors. You've so when you remove the original doors, you have some type of security there. Um, roof rails with crossbars black. You can do it on a Badland Sasquatch, but you have to be at 2.3. Uh, if you're at a Badland Sasquatch 2.7, you can't do it from the fact. Removable hoop steps. God, I love saying that. Uh, these are pretty cool. These steps, you can add the steps on there if you want to. Uh, there again, some of the stuff we're not going to go across because of time. We have the brush guard that goes on the front modular bumper. You have to have the modular bumper for that. Uh, the wheel lock kits, $90. I highly recommend that. Uh, engine block heater depends on where you live, uh, whether it's uh, considered man mandatory or not. Uh, some areas it may have to be shipped that way, but um, I, I know in our area, we don't have to have it for here, but the idea, what if we travel to somewhere that is really, really cold at night? I want the satisfaction knowing I can plug in the um, the block heater and give the engine some heat. And so it's not so rough on the cold start in the morning. Uh, there is something in the manual, by the way, if you, if cold start is an issue where you are, uh, there's a different option for engine uh, oil weight. Should check that out in the owner's manual. Uh, let's see. Keyless entry pad. I'm not a huge fan of that. Don't know why. Um, but if you want to get it, it's $110, but we're not going to add that. The 360 uh, degree camera is included with the Lux. The signature heli, uh, LED headlight assembly, you know, the, 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 the LEDs that are on during the day, the signature lights. Um, they are different trims have them, but with the Badlands, you're going to get those headlights as well. All right, the interior, we're going with the black onyx. Um, we're doing marine grade vinyl um, because, well, we like the idea of the washout floor with the drain plugs. And we just upgraded to some uh, rubber Bronco floor mats. And with the with the marine grade vinyl, we have a very, uh, very easy vehicle to clean up. So if you're out at the beach, you have suntan lotion on, you get on the seat, you spill something on it, you're grabbing lunch and you spill ketchup on the seat or whatever the case may be, it tends to clean up very well. Also, if you get uh, caught with the top down and it gets a little wet, um, probably not the end of the world for you. However, at all costs, you want to keep the interior as dry as humanly possible so you don't have to worry about long-term issues with it. So auxiliary switches is another thing, depends on the trim that you go with. I highly recommend if you have the ability to order them from the factory to get them, whether you need them or not right now, the option to have them is huge. When you try to add them later on, it's a big deal. It's very expensive. And 
most people are just resulting to adding switches wherever they can mount them. Now the, the front uh, floor liners, front and rear with carpet floor mats. So we didn't go that route, but what we did do was floor liners front and rear without the uh, carpet mats. And so we're going to add that. That's going to add a, uh, uh, the, the Bronco rubber mats in the front and the Bronco mat in the back. The back one includes a raised sort of gray color Bronco bucking horse on top of the transmission hump there. So it's kind of cool. Oh, let's see. Upgraded front and rear carpet floor mats. We're not doing that. Cargo area rug. We didn't do that at all. There again, part of the ease of cleanup. Now you could certainly add that and take it out when you do some beach stuff or heavy off-roading, but if you want to keep stuff um, a little quieter in the back, it might help, but I do know that rubber in the back is pretty grippy, so you don't have to worry about stuff slipping around. So, uh, Storage bags for the doors. Highly recommend that, um, whether you're going to take the doors off while you're driving it. Um, you know, out on a trip, uh, or if you are going to, um, if you're just going to take them off and leave them in your garage and go riding around for the day, I highly recommend that hard top carbonized gray molded in color storage bag, front row top panels. So let's say no to that storage bags, uh, for the doors. That's kind of funny. Say storage bag, top panels included. So we're going to add the storage bags for the doors, um, storage bags, front row, top and doors, $350. So I think when we do that, yeah, it takes out the door bags completely. Yep. And that puts us there. So that was the net change. What you want to do is you want to select if you want the, the top panel um, bags as well as the door. You want to select this one here. It says storage bags, front row top panels and door $350 there. It was a total of 675 because, um, you know, when I clicked on the storage bags, it actually removed the, uh, the first one. Remote start system. It's included, um, storage bag for the roof, second row. You know, that's something that you don't get. You have to upcharge it. It's $180 upcharge. Um, honestly, we didn't, we didn't get that on ours. We just have the bags for the two front panels. Uh, the heated steering wheel was included. Adaptive cruise control was included for the Lux package. Power outlets included. Uh, wireless charging uh, pad is included. Now, there's some discussion whether that's really good or not. People, Some people like it, some don't. Uh, also, Sync 4. We found that the Sync 4 works good for us. Um, now, part of the Lux package for us getting that was to get the B&O audio sound system. Uh, to, to us, it's fine. I get it. Some people don't like it and whatever, but for us, it, you know, where we listen, the volume of music and how much bass and what type of music, it seems to work fine for us. So that's what we're doing. One thing I do really like about the high package and Lux is you have the option of the, well, with Lux, you get the 12 inch touchscreen infotainment screen. They call it the, the touchscreen with swipe capability um, infotainment screen, whatever you want to call it. We do call it a touch screen. Um, it is very nice. It's huge. Sits in there. You can see it. It's not a problem. And I say, whatever you do, it's worth it. At least in my humble opinion, audio upgrade, you get the Sirius XM for a selected time. I think it's a navigation you get for three years of service. Um, but Sirius, you have to, to upgrade to that. All right, so here's where we are right now, 2023 Bronco Badlands. You know how we've built this thing. We have a, the EcoBoost for $18.95. Um, we have the Lux, Lux package for $46.90. We have the Sasquatch package for $4,090. Towing capability, $5.95. And we have the uh, MIC top. We have the uh, front modular bumper. We have the 160 for the floor liners, the 350 extra for the front row, top panels and doors. Um, we had a base MSRP when we started with the Badlands of 47385 The estimated net price to build this Bronco now is $62,030 MSRP. 
Now I can tell you that we were at 59,000 on our 21 and 59.8, I want to say on the 22. Now, part of that difference was the hard top, uh, the MIC top versus the soft top. So essentially, if you take this, we've, we've added just over $2,000 and I think most of that is in the Sasquatch package upgrade. So prices may have changed a little here and there. Block heater didn't change. Wheel locks didn't change. Um, but the cost of Sasquatch definitely changed. So there you go. If you build this Bronco, you are at $62,030 estimated MSRP. Well, that is the MSRP estimated that, you know, what you're going to actually pay for it. And you do have taxes and, and regist registering and admin, and you have all this other stuff that has to be done now, not ADM, but like the admin charges for people to actually push the paperwork through the dealership. Then you have to deal with the ADM if you're dealing with a dealer that's uh, charging you that. So basically it's like this, play around with the building price, but you'll see right here, if we built a 23 four-door Bronco Badlands 2.7, which obviously would be a 10 speed T, uh, 10R60 transmission with the MIC Lux Sasquatch. We are at that $62,030. So I hope you like the video. It, it's a quick run through it, give you an idea. If you're going to order one or you're looking to order one, go to this website, start moving things around, seeing what works best for you. Watch out for our interior and top video where we're just going to pick a Bronco and we're going to decide to talk about just the interior and the top. Maybe a couple small things because there is a reason why Lux might not be for you, even though you want the 12 inch touchscreen and the BNO system. There's a way of getting the 12 inch touchscreen and doing something else with audio but more importantly, why wouldn't you just do Lux? There's a reason for that. Check out the video coming out later. So anyway, I hope you like this. Let me head on back over here. Um, you know, when you're deciding on the Bronco that you want, there's a lot of things to keep in mind. Is Sasquatch worth it from the factory? I think it is, but some people don't. Lux, we'll talk about that in a later video. There is a reason why we wouldn't do it maybe on another Bronco that we would build because we have other plans for it. And those other plans are affected by something in that Lux package. So watch out for that video. Uh, do you really want the 2.7 or are you okay with the 2.3? Those are questions for you. Um, if you want manual, you will you will have to pick a 2.3 because that's the only way you can pair those two. But if you want automatic, you do have the option of 2.3 or 2.7. And it's really whatever that, um, it's pretty much how you're going to build the rest of the Bronco and how you're going to use it, right? So if it's uh, not hard off-roading, you're not going to go Sasquatch. You're going to run it on the street. The two, two three is probably for you. But if you're going Sasquatch or bigger, you're doing a lot of crazy stuff off-road with it, you might want to consider the 2.7. Now, I will say they are both very good engines. Some people would argue you can do more with the 2.3 because of the history with the Mustang. There's a lot of aftermarket parts, but then there's no replacement for displacement is one saying the 2.7 the v6 is a uh, twin turbo very solid engine uh cast block cgi block uh there's a lot of advantages to it so we'll go into other videos on why would you pick maybe we'll do a building price with concentrate on the drive train itself so anyway i hope you like this video if you do please hit like on the video we greatly appreciate that subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and if you already are subscribed hit the bell icon and click on all notifications you'll know we go live when we drop a video and that helps us as well with youtube and we greatly appreciate you watching there's a, a millions of channels on youtube and on the internet and we appreciate the fact that you stopped here and checked us out. Everyone, have a great day.